Hey everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa, uh, where we're halfway, I think we're about halfway through the investigation, and we're gonna see who killed Sayaka, and find out who killed Junko! Oh wait, that was Monokuma. Whoops. Yeah, we, we already know that. But we, we are we, gonna hopefully figure out what 11037 means. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm stumped for numbers. I'm, I'm not a numbers guy. We have to ask the ultimate programmer. We do. Alright, so we've talked to her about the knives. We figured out about the knives. Um, we have... So it said that we wanted to go talk to Chihiro about those numbers. And we have to go to the AV room. Yes, gotta we'll see what's on that DVD. So what do you want to do first? Uh, I'd say whichever happens first. We walk by the AV room where we find Chihiro. Taka. Alright, I guess we'll talk to Taka. Yeah, there's no one just awkwardly standing up. Taka! <laughs> hmm. What's up, eyebrows? Hmm. Cleaning duty. As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen to me! He probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty now? That's wrong! Actually, no. Huh? Okay, then who is? <laughs> Hifumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on it! Indeed. But we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. Got it! And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you. So you know that that means we have to go talk to again. Yeah. Unfortunately. The first AV room. Let's go see what was on this video. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play, and then the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was the face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friends she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to flow out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in the next moment... I saw something I could hardly believe. <gasps> what the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion-dollar question. What a what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. 
without warning, the video cut off. Well, what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? A madman. Or a mad bear. A teddy bear. <laughs> Madman bear. Madman bear. Alright, so Chihiro is off in the gym. So this Seems like an the... odd place for a programmer to be. Well, Chihiro didn't want to leave Junko, remember? Oh, right, 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 right. Chihiro! Still nothing exciting in here. Chihiro! Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Uh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mmm. Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's just letting on? Dot dot dot. No, couldn't be. Nope, couldn't be. Couldn't be. Alright. Well, that was fun and exciting. Now we have All to go right. talk to Hifumi. Yay, Hifumi. Yay. Yay. Can we just oust him anyway? Can we just can we just say he's the killer and, and be done with him? <laughs> That's what 11037 means, right, Hifumi? That's exactly what it means. <laughs> um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> So I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And, and since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm-hmm. But we're supposed to be ro we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time, so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So, in other words. Actually, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. B boring Hey, listen! Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard! Hey, fatty, why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, um... I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar, I know why you did it. Is it, like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for... You know, and poking around at it. 
There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kind of trash stickers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn... Completely unforgivable! I would never get tired of 2D! <sighs> Oh my god, why is that an audio track? Uh... <laughs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Oh my god. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. <laughs> If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has any duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. <laughs> what? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. He's, he's not so innocent anymore. Anyway, on another topic... <laughs> I just like Makoto's just like, moving on now, uh... <laughs> we're, we're done talking about hentai. Anyway, Hifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask. Mm-hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You got it! Oh, okay. So easy. So Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. We just had to get through that entire conversation in order to get here. Yeah. Hmm. 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 One hmm would suffice. You don't yeah. have to do it four times. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. <laughs> da -da 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 -da! Okie dokie, leave it to me. Kafumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi... Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! No! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. 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 But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Oh, nah, bro, I'm just gonna throw you into the trash. Wait, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. The fact that we have to rely on him for something here is the most annoying thing about this case. Yeah. This is the incinerator. It's way... It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on right now! Mm-hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed! It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? okay. Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, you said the last time that you were here the incinerator was off. 
Ah, ah yes, about that there, that, about that there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate... Most suspicious! It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Nice. Incinerator. The green button turns it on, and the yellow button turns it off. Or so it seems, anyway. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is... <laughs> it looks like a piece of cloth, and the shape... It's part of a sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, it's definitely blood on the cuff. Which means... This is all that's left of some evidence that the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Nice. Burnt shirt piece. There are shards of broken glass sh scattered around the front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, but it's about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Yeah. Is that... Do you know what that is? Mm-hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a wish. Bruh! <laughs> hmm. Kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it, and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on, a qu on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Nice. Shattered crystal ball. I'm trying to read your line again. One <laughs> hmm will suffice. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Completely unforgivable! What does it all mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it! I'm sure of it! Everyone already knows you did it! All the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Sounds like his life is a comic book fantasy. Yeah. Alright. Time to run away from that guy. Yes, please. Time to go talk to the other least helpful person. Onward. <laughs> Speaking of Onward, I just recently watched that movie. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. Just plug that in here. <laughs> Watch Onward. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. No, like, literally, I just watched it, like, two days ago, so that's why it's, like, it's so fresh in my mind. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Uh... No, 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 I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now, I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um... 
Huh? Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Did you just bring it with you? Maybe it's a picture? <gasps> That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how did it break? What? What? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. Again, the other least helpful person. Yeah. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Update. Nice. Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sure. Dot dot dot. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for four, two full years. Came out to be like, a million. Uh, m million? Uh, um... That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too... too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Ding dong bing bong. That's a ding dong bing bong. Remember? Oh, sorry. My, my bad. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Whoop. Oh. The red door. Ominous music. Nope, going the other way. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> this door's red enough, right? Uh, yeah, well, well, this, this door. This door, right? Oh. There's no running away now. The red door. I have no choice but to go through it. Wah, wah, wah. All right, fine. Oh no! How am I gonna get to the red door? There's that invisible wall. Remember? Do we have the power to get through the invisible wall now? <gasps> we do. Holy shit! Yo! Yeah, everyone's here. Oh god! <laughs> Everyone just like popped up. <laughs> You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There, we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka is really one of us? <laughs> is everyone here? Okay then! Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. 
Now we get the fun time of talking to everybody. Yay! Hey! There's no point standing around here. Settle your resolve and step into the future. Impossible! Damn, we really gotta go through a last trial thing, huh? You know? If you want to confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it! What? What? So whoever stuck us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Dot dot dot. Let's get started. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Sayaka would want us to find out who killed her? What the heck? I can't help but wonder what whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Dot dot dot. Yeah, we found some strange numbers that we're not quite sure what they mean. Yeah, even Chihiro couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Being so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. You know what I mean. Well, I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. What the hell did you do? Uh, you just stood there in the hallway. Mm -hmm. I just stood there in the hallway and made fun of him. Actually, that's an important job, making fun of Hifumi. Uh, yeah, that is true. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna actually give it to him. He did his job. He made fun of Hifumi. Good job, Leon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good job. So, the school basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nyagi's final curtain call. <laughs> well then, it's finally come. Are you ready? Got it! Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Alright, elevator. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well then, let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Dot dot dot. Hey. Are you scared? N no, scared isn't quite right. Makoto. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me that. In Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is! But more importantly, WHERE'S SAYAKA?! <laughs> WHERE'S SAYAKA?! <laughs> as I raised my voice and try and give myself courage. Not gonna lie, as we were investigating Makoto's room, like every time we click on something that that line just kept popping back into my head. But more importantly, WHERE'S SAYAKA?! <laughs> I turned, trembling with anticipation, towards the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart sta starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already in the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed, and the elevator started to move. It was a big elevator. Mm -hmm. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how death, a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh! Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Obvious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> you finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Duh, shit. Not even close. It's total shit. Well now. Okay, okay. Everyone, find your assigned seats and sit down. Yahoo! Hurry up now, hurry up. 
We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. They're not really seats, they're all standing. <laughs> Don't like, even get chairs! Right? It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto someone else. Also, from this angle, you can see just how long Mondo's hair is. I was trying to ignore that. <laughs> and how, how tall Sayaka is. Or not Sayaka, uh, Sakura is compared to everybody. Yeah, that I was definitely looking at. <laughs> I am looking respectfully. And then and then Makoto just being short, short, short over there. Yeah, he's like three feet tall. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Everyone else is like, their <laughs> abdomen is about at his eyes. <laughs> The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Oh no, we have to stand next to Hifumi. Gross. He barely even fits in that square. We have Hifumi on one side and then our dead girlfriend on the other side. Sad life. Yeah. All right, oh, let, that, let's, that, let's that one save awkward time before where I say yeah, before we uh, commit to our death. What's this class trial that Monokuma mentioned? Can Makoto sweep away the cloud of... Oh, why did it slow down? The cloud of suspicion surrounding him. Even... A dead body laying in his bathroom? And what about the blackened who's actually responsible for Sayaka's death <laughs> it was at a perfectly fine speed at the start <laughs> it, yeah i would have just kept going i could have read it no and then she like slows down to a crawl <laughs> all right so uh i think we're gonna be stopping it here and that way we are prepared to start the trial in the next episode so in the next one we'll we'll start by going through all of our truth bullets to give us a quick reminder of everything we've seen and then we'll look through the skills. I don't even know if we have any skills, honestly. Um, and then we'll head on to the actual trial portion. Are you excited? Be... Oh, I'm like super hyped. I know. I'm very interested about the skills, though. We have skills? Uh, we're going to find out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Good. But more importantly, <laughs> where's Sayaka? Where's Sayaka? <laughs> In my bathroom. Sad face. You know... I'm not quite sure how to take that one. <laughs> Where's this well, girl I like? Oh yeah, she's in my bathroom. Oh, we're, that's we're nice. we to see how everyone yeah, else dead. feels about it. <laughs> she's in my bathroom. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she's dead. Oh. That's a little less nice. Slightly less nice. Mostly less nice. Hey, at least she was nice enough to die in the bathroom, so cleaning up that blood will be easy. Yeah, cleaning up the blood will be easy, but cleaning up all the gouge marks and slashes and everything's not going to be so easy. Yeah, about that. <laughs> but, I mean, appara apparently that's Sayaka's room now, so... Apparently it's nice Sayaka's room. room. That means... Does that mean that Makoto gets the bathroom with a lock now? <gasps> Maybe. Maybe there is a plus to uh, Sayaka's death. We go from broken door to locked door. Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right, we're going to continue on with this in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. See you all later.